Welcome to the Z-Hut. Today we're going to be talking how you can use internal storage devices for a PC externally. Such as if you have something like this. This is a little Dell Inspire on Mini, which has USB ports but no disk drive of any kind. It just has the internal hard drive. Now, say you wanted to load a program onto it off a CD or DVD and you don't have an external drive. Well, you can order one, but if you don't use it very often, there is another option. It will come in handy because you'd also be able to use it for transferring files for like storage or if you had a laptop or a computer that died and you wanted to get the files off of the hard drive, you could simply order one of these. And these are cheap. I do believe I ordered this oh, about a year or so ago. It was only around $10, $12. And what it is, is it's got the USB plug on one side, and the other end has your IDE connector, which would fit onto your uh, CD or DVD ROM, which is also the same connector fits onto your hard drives off of, a, off of a PC, but then on the other side, it's got the ID connector for laptops. Let me just make sure I'm going to plug it in the right way so I don't bend any of the tabs. Now this also comes with this, which is the power supply. You see it's got the the plug on this end, it'll plug into your, your hard drive or your CD or DVD ROM. And it just takes a regular computer cord. I didn't bother to grab one to put it up here. I'm sure you know the power cord for a computer is. It's the same cord. And it also, because this also has, on the bottom side, it's got the SATA connector for the, the newer drives. And then it comes with a cable. For the SATA to plug into it and it also has the power adapter that plugs in here and then has the power adapter for the SATA. Now there are no drivers, no driver disk, nothing. It's plug and play. So I'm gonna, for this demonstration, I'm gonna use the laptop hard drive because you don't need to hook in the external power supply to it. And we just simply plug it into the USB port on the computer. And there I heard the drive turned on. I can hear it spinning. Now, it is going to take a minute, maybe two, for it to recognize the device. And when it does, it'll pop up on the screen. And then you'll be able to access it. And if you're using a hard drive, it'll list it as another letter under the hard drives. And if you're using the... CD or DVD ROM be the same thing on your, your file manager. You'd find it in there, the drive listing, and the letters for the drive will vary depending what system you're using. There it recognized it. It's installing the drivers. And there we go. And it has this listed as local disk D. Now I can transfer files from this laptop hard drive to this computer or files from the computer to the hard drive. And the main reason I use this is in my photography, I like to make backups. Now I do have a USB external hard drive. It's a couple of terabytes that holds most, most of my files for backup. But I do like to use some of my old hard drives. I come across lots of these. People have junk computers or I see them in the dumpsters, I grab them take the hard drives, format them, and I use them for extra backups to keep my files on. So if you don't want to buy an external drive, you have to actually buy, you'd have to buy one external drive to fit your CD, DVD, whatever you wanted. You'd have to have another one for your hard drives and whatnot. And matter of fact, most of the enclosures they make nowadays for the external USB hard drive use the laptop 
card drives. They don't use these because these need an external power source where the laptop hard drive doesn't. Like I said, you don't need any drivers with it. Simple to use, plug and play. And uh, I had to actually reload this computer a few months ago. It got a virus in it, and it was a bad one. <laughs> so I had to reinstall Windows, and this is the ROM I used right here. Ran this cable, and that will work for installing your operating system along with any other program you might want to put on the computer. So with that, I can't think of anything else to really say about it, so we'll wrap this tutorial up. Thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut, and we hope to see you again.